In a world of ghost hunting in Utah, very few buildings are considered to be more haunted than the old exchange building in West Ogden. Originally built in the 1930s, the building has seen its share of tragedies and drama. In the 40s, the exchange building was the scene of a horrific triple murder, and in the 70s, it housed an insane asylum and a morgue. Today, the building is owned by Leanne Reardon and her husband, and has become a well-known hotspot for paranormal activity and ghost hunting. When we heard about this haunted building, we decided to send our very own Danny Know-It-All to investigate it for ourselves, along with the paranormal specialists Brian Whitesides and Dave Rosenfeld. Hey, Danny Know-It-All here. I'm with Brian Whitesides. Uh, give me your history, uh, uh, what you've experienced in this, in this lovely place. We've actually been coming here for uh, uh, a little over a year now. We've been here several times, um, checking the building out and, uh, and doing our investigations as we normally do. Uh, now, what kind of, you say investigations, what are you investigating? What are you looking for? We're investigating the reports of uh, entities in this building. Um, some of the entities we've have been told about have been the, uh, the full body apparitions of a little girl that likes to hang out here. What is a full body apparition? Full body apparitions where it's just like Miriam standing there. You can see from head to toe, uh, just like a normal person standing. Uh, you can actually, sometimes you can walk up and touch them. Full body solid. Okay, I'm a little, and, I am a little concerned because one of your guys came out a little bit earlier and was talking about a, uh, was it a freezer that had moved? Oh, the swamp, swamp cooler. cooler. Mm -hmm. what, are, uh, what are some of the things we can expect with things moving inside? <laughs> and uh, that said, who is moving them? You know, uh, a lot of the times... Tell me, tell me it's not the little girl moving the swamp cooler. You know, it could that be. that might be a little much. It could be. It depends on how they learn to do it. Here's one thing, and... Uh, I'm still trying to get the, the difference between the two, as we talked earlier, mm -hmm. that a ghost or a spirit that way can't hurt you, but a demon can. Uh, it all depends on what you believe and uh, how strong your belief system is. Is this going to be one You're of those things where we haven't seen anything for 30 years here at the building? Got it in 2004. Ten months as here, nothing happens. And Danny Boy goes in there, what happens? Half bodied apparition comes in, shanks me out at the knees. I'm laying at the bottom of the morgue. Bottom of the morgue, nobody's helping me. Oh, he's in his car laughing it up. Loop -de -doo, look at me. You're saying, oh, just say no to it because you're the living. Is that how it's going to go in there? This for me, Leanne, tell me the difference between the happy pants ghosts and the demonic ones. It's perception. It's all in perception. So if one's hurting you, then you know it's a bad one? Well. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a good little tip for you. Let's say you're in the building. Something's got you by the throat, choking the life out of you. Here's, here's a heads up. That's a bad one. No. That's demonic. Okay. <clears throat> when we were filming doing the interview over there, peripherally I could see this side of the building. This is the east side. And east side main floor. East side main floor. But I was, I was feeling something kind of weird about the second floor, about the, not the lit building, or the windows there, but the third set in. Okay, Am third I, set. As far as I'm aware, nothing's happened in that room. Now the window on the far end, top floor okay is where the guy got killed him and his assistant and his secretary now below that is so this is the part of the story they go that's weird we didn't even know anything happened there until danny showed up yeah and then we found weird. out that that's where satan lives we're gonna go in and have you channel in there the dark lord yeah we're here the dark lord just kind of messing with it thought that'd be fun to film and then we all died. Anyway, so it's okay. I got you. So back. I'm gonna hang with my new my new pal here, the largest man in the state of Utah. You met my new best pal and uh, bodyguard. We're in the building. Right. It's built in 1930. Correct. Many people have lost their lives here. Some have taken their lives. Some have actually been murdered. Right killed by other human beings. And what you're saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, you rub the wall. Right. Just rub it to create a vibration, any type you of vibration. You created a vibration on the wall and heard a male voice say, I am. How many times a day do you say I'm? And, but When I'm with Michael B, seven. Ah. One time we were here, my husband, myself, my brother-in-law, my sister, we were here moving our handicap ramp inside for weather. 
and you know, be, me being the twit that I am, I put the quarters around to see if I could catch anything. And you know, we did our things. I had one in this room. Went back and listened to it, and you can hear this blood curdling scream in it. I Meaning you can actually hear the the echo and everything. Do you stay here at night? Mm-hmm. Sure. Why not? Why not? You want me to give you like seven <laughs> reasons? No. Down at that end, why not? Get There's a few more down in the morgue. And roll them out one after another. Stack them up if you want. Look at me, all the reasons. This is the area where one of our other investigators saw a shadow, probably bordering six foot eight, seven feet tall, walk past him. So. Next to the and scream of death room. Next to the scream of death room next to the Frady Cat in the blue blazer from Dillard's. Danny is leaving because they went down to the basement. He looked into the boiler room. He saw something pass by. And so now he's leaving because he got really freaked out. If Danny says he saw something, we don't do just to can't discount it. We have to go in and take a look at it and see if we can come up with anything, so. Does anybody know where Danny went? Did he ever leave? Yeah. Yeah. Did he leave? Yeah. There's somebody in here. There's somebody down here that wants to communicate. Did you see what happened? I didn't, I was in the hallway and I heard everything, but I did see it. What did he say? Um, they came in here and they says, uh, this is where a lot of activity happens and uh, I swear there's nobody in here and because they thought he thought there's they were gonna play a joke on him or something and, and uh, it sounded like he was like the second one in the room mm -hmm. um, what's her name came in first Leanna. yeah Leanna and uh, they walked in and he said oh my and he just said that's enough I'm out of here and he was gone he just ran up the stairs 